Hi, Cupcakes. How are you doing? How are you doing? Ah! Um, I know I said that I was going to come back um, a different time. Um, and um, I know that I was supposed to. I was going to actually wait before I did another video. But um, I actually was just um, checking my emails. And I got this email from uh, a very good Cupcake of mine. Um, I really appreciate him taking the time to even want me to put my input on this. Um, so you guys go over and show him love. His name is Guardian Isis two zero eight. Um, I'll either have it somewhere over here or in the description box if I don't put it in and edit it and whatever. Um, but you go and show him love. Um, he is a really good person, and I appreciate him. You know wanting me to give my input on um his video that he wanted me to put my input in but first i'm dropping my watch can y'all see this y'all see this this pink watch it's like dang i don't know it's all shiny and blaze whatever so cute i freaking love it i don't know if y'all can see it because it's like glare and glaze whatever but you know god i i don't know this is a reflection anyway but um i I want to put my input on it. His video that he sent to me was karma. Homosexuality is not a choice. You idiots. <laughs> You're so dumb. Um, first and foremost, I want to say this. I watched the video and I truthfully can understand what you're talking about. Um, because one thing that you have to really understand is there are so many people in this world who are going to always have their input on whatever it is. No matter, you know, if you're in a good relationship, bad relationship, family issues, if they feel like you're doing something wrong, if they feel like they're jealous of you, they're going to, people are going to always have some type of input and in whatever the issues is. And at this point in time, it, he was talking about um, homosexuality being either a choice or not. And he said that homosexuality is not a choice. It is something natural. And he gave an example I believe by saying that basically if of a woman if he was to tell a woman how to act how to walk how to talk how to basically present herself and say that what she's doing is wrong then he would be making a choice for her and then he also said that there was a bisexual individual that was on there who was throwing a whole bunch of hate towards him and telling him that basically he didn't like any gay people because they choose to be gay and he just didn't like it and he just said that basically he feels like um he can't really talk because basically his sexuality being bisexual he has two choices to choose from which is male or female and when you're homosexual you know, you only, you really don't have a choice because you're just naturally attracted to the same sex. But when you are dealing with individuals who don't approve of that and who always have some something negative to always say, they're not going to listen to you. They're going to always say what you're doing wrong, how you're doing it wrong, you know, and all this other crazy stuff. For example, with me, I always get people who always tell me, you shouldn't look like that. You look too feminine. Um... You know, you know what you're doing is wrong. You're going to go to hell and, you know, you're not living your life the way that God intended. And I'm asking myself, how do you know? What, why do you think that? Because I choose, you know, I, I know what I'm naturally attracted to. How do you know that God, what God says? And a lot of people always go to this because it says in the Bible and it's an abomination and all that. I gave my input on what the abomination and what it meant to me. If you don't, go check in my videos and it's in there and you can go view what I said. I'm not going to repeat what I said, but I still stand by that. Um, me personally, I get people, you know, that, that try to tell me personally that, you know, I shouldn't be living my life as a woman and I'm trying to pretend to be a woman when I'm naturally not and all of that other BS whatever first and foremost I know what I was born as thank you very much I don't need any of you med ballers trying to talk down on me or trying to make it seem as though by you saying that 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 affects me which goes into what I was going to tell you guarding ISIS 208 don't let people determine who you are 
Because one very famous quote that I stand by by Maya Angelou, she always said, if someone shows you who they are, believe them. If these people don't know you, don't give them the satisfaction. Laugh at it. Don't even let it bother you because you have more people out there that will love and accept you for you. You know, and as I was looking at, you know, your video, I kept saying to myself, he has really good valid points. He is telling them shut the fuck up and all this other stuff. And I was like, yes, you better go in. But at the same time, I also want to tell you, don't let people get you to that point where you start losing, you know, who, who you are. Because then it's like, I understand at the same time. Because the reason why I say I understand at the same time is because I get like that. I get really, really pissed off mad when people say negative stuff about people who are in the LGBT community. Are they always throwing shade? Are they are you know, throwing negativity or, or whatever you want to call it? They're always hating on, you know, LGBT or especially, you know, feminine guys or transgenders because they feel like if you're a guy, you're supposed to be like a man. You're not supposed to be like a woman because you were not born that way. But who the hell are you to tell me what I should be? You're making a choice for me. You ain't going to make no choice for me. You don't have no heaven or hell to put me in. So first and foremost, I don't give a fuck what you think about me or what you heard. But if you heard it from me, then you know where you stand at and you're hearing it. I know what I am. You know, and and that's the thing that I want to tell you is don't let people dictate and determine who you are. You know who you are. And that's just that. Let them hate. And one thing that I, I, I've learned being on here, I'm going to tell you a story. I, I had a, a video up um about two three years ago and in my video i was um i think i was telling people what i was looking for in a guy and all this whatever and i had this dress on that i had made and, and i loved it i was like on the bed and all this crazy stuff and i got so much hatred from that video so much hatred i had so many people hating on what i had on and all this whatever that i just said you know what i'm gonna take it down because I don't want anyone to to hate on me. I didn't know how to deal with that, you know. And I had this one cupcake of mine to tell me, what are you doing? Why did you do that? That's crazy. You're letting them take the power from you. And and that's the one thing that I, another thing I want to tell you is when you get so upset and it gets to the point where you forget who you are and you're going crazy and insane, they won. And that's what they want you to do. They want you to act crazy. They want you to say stuff. They want you to tell, you know, everybody who they are and, and, and say what they said and all this or whatever. But if you never pay attention to that, what can they do? They can't do anything but keep saying whatever it is that they're going to say. And when they do that and you learn to just be like, I don't care. What you saying don't even really matter to me because you ain't paying my bills. You ain't giving me no food. You ain't doing nothing for me. You're not supporting me I'm doing everything on my own it don't really matter you know and I just also want to say that if these people are saying this all the time or you just getting a whole bunch of hate or whatever you're doing something right you have it you have a voice that needs to be heard and I don't care who is on this earth I don't care whether at gay straight bi lesbian famous not famous rich poor or whatever somebody always got somebody that's hating on them. and it's something about you and anybody that feels the same way you know that goes through that it's something about you that they just feel like they have to prey upon and if you feed into that they won but if you don't what can they do they can't do anything you know so i don't even let what they say get to you you are on the right track you know you have to have haters to motivate what you're doing without them there would not be somebody amongst those haters to say hmm let me go check out and see what they doing or 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 give their input you know haters don't always have their input all the time you know and they need to sit back in the back seat and watch you rise because if you don't have haters it won't push you it won't make you say you know what what i'm doing is right you know what I'm saying? I have so many people that hate on me. It's so crazy. It's so crazy. And to me, I don't even pay attention to it because I just feel like I'm doing something right. You know, I'm doing something that's changing somebody's life. That's what I focus on. I focus on the ones that care about me. I focus on the ones who take heed of what I'm saying. 
not the ones that's always saying something negative. You know, somebody saying something negative is not always something that's bad. Sometimes it's something that you can just see within it and just say, you know what? I know why I stand up with you. But because that's how you feel, I'm not going to feed into that negativity. Don't even feed into it. Because when you do that, they won. That's what they do. That's why they're called haters. That's why they're called, that's why I call them med ballers. Because med ballers to me is an equivalency of the media who always twists and contorts things and a player who always thinks that they got everything and they got game and all that when they really don't. Okay? That's the equivalency to me of what a hater is. A med baller. So, you know, don't. Don't let what they say get to you. You are better than that. Keep doing what you're doing. I hope you continue to sing and continue to be real as you are. And don't let nobody steal your shine because when you do that, you just kind of lose focus of who you are. And then and then you just start saying, why was I doing that in the first place? They ain't doing nothing for me. You know, they're not here with me when I'm sick or whenever I need money for this and that. You know, it's, it's a much deeper thing, you know, so... Don't let them steal your joy. It's crazy. It's really, really crazy, you know. And you just kind of have to, you just have kind of have to just accept that people are gonna say what they want to say, and people are gonna always have something to say about the LGBT community. And it's always gonna always end back to if you are a guy, then you're not supposed to be acting like a woman or be feminine. You're supposed to be the man. You know, you're supposed to have children, kids, nothing, whatever. And people are entitled to their opinion. But ultimately, it comes down to what you feel and what you know is right. You know, I commend you for standing up and saying what you're saying. But don't let these med ballers, dusted bunnies, don't let them get to you. You are so better than that. You really truthfully are. And I just, I just want you to know what I do when I see med ballers. I just, I laugh. Yeah. And... I just also want, you know, wanted to tell you to continue to do what you're doing because you're an amazing person and don't let nobody see you shine, you know. But without that being said, that's all that I have to say about it. Um, thank you all to my new and my subscribers. Um, thank you, Guardian Isis208, for that amazing topic. Um, I really appreciate you just wanting my input on it. <laughs> Me. You know, so I, I really appreciate it. Um, I definitely am going to do more videos. I'm actually in the works of doing something for my haters. Yes. Mm hmm Yeah, you heard me. And as soon as I get it done, I will let you guys know about that and I'll post it. And um, it's, it's going to be great. I'm still just in the works of working it out and stuff. So, you know. Um, but otherwise than that, I love each and every last one of y'all. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Subscribe. Um, come visit me here on YouTube, youtube.com forward slash Waki 2008. That's W A Q Q I D 2008. Or you can hit me up on Twitter at Waki 2008. That's W A Q Q I D. <sighs> yeah, and you can hit me up and email me and all that. Oh, I also want to give a quick shout out to what is her name? Lord have mercy. I'm gonna see if I can find it, y'all, because I just found this person well this person actually has been emailing me and leave well actually leave me comments and i really truthfully appreciate that um her name oh what is her name what is her name <laughs> oh let me see laura i have to i'm probably have to go on my video to see it um I'm sorry about this, y'all. I'm trying not to make this so freaking long. But, uh, oh gosh, what is her name? Her name is, one of them is Mrs. Jazz123100. Thank you, love, for all the love and support. Um, Miss Octavia, I love you. Yes, you will continue to talk. Oh my God, so many great things. And so I'm just, I just, I love you so much, girl. You have no clue. Um, Beth Run Girl, I miss you so much. You need to show back up. I tried to go on your page and leave you a comment, but I don't know what happened with that. But um, email me or something because I really miss you. But the person I was talking about was Nicole J903. I really truthfully appreciate all of the love and the support that you have been showing me. Thank you all. God bless you. Never last one of y'all. Remember, it's only a cupcake. Be one. Yeah.
much, guys. Bye. I'll be back.